Hi there, it's Nicole here today and I have a paper doll art journaling page to share with you. This is my April 2015 page using a leftover pattern paper for the dress from the Simon Says St Stamp April card kit. And I created a page with this girls and has a die cut window and a floor and a little kitty sitting in the windowsill. I'm going to start by stamping the Julie Nutting Rita doll on this leftover 6x6 six six piece of basil gold foil paper. This was one of the pattern papers from the July or the April rather kit and I am using it for her dress. Now because this is um, a gold foil design some of those areas didn't stamp just great simply because they um, kind of rubbed off, the ink rubbed off where the foil is. That is okay though. I am just going to highlight those areas using some Copic markers. I'm using E55 right here and really just kind of going along all the edges of the dress and the stamp lines to add detail and dimension and really give that dress some nice shadowing. I'll zoom in a little here. I'm going to go in with some E57 now and darken the, some of those areas even more. This is going to make the dress really pop once you place it on the paper doll. And since the, the skin is colored and has nice shading and dimension, you want the clothing to look that way as well. So my favorite thing to do is to take my markers and really go over the fussy cut pattern paper clothing and make them uh, look very much like the doll. I'm going to go back in now and blend out that E57 with the E55 anywhere that it maybe got a little dark. And then if I blended it too much, I can always go back in and add some more color. I really worked on the dress quite a bit to get those uh, pleats really nice and dark and deep. Now I have a scrap of paper left over from one of my other months of paper doll art journaling and so it's a text design pattern paper i'm going to ink up my doll stamp again i'm using the julie nutting rita doll and i'm using the prima acrylic block to stamp that it's a nice large acrylic block with a handle makes it easy to maneuver these about eight inch tall doll stamps and then i'm going to color in the skin with copic markers here gonna go add all the skin colors and everything like that and then I will go on to the hair. I used the My Favorite Things Black Licorice Hybrid ink to stamp the doll. I like the crisp black lines that this ink gives and it works nicely with Copic markers. One thing when you are using Copic markers you want to make sure you're using an ink to stamp with that will not bleed or run and I have found that this works pretty good. I've had good luck with it. So I've colored in her skin and I need to add some of the accessory pieces. Um, I want to do the belt around her waist and her shoes in some gold foil. This is a uh, die cuts with a view uh, foil paper and I've die cut her belt and her shoes there. I'm going to go ahead and skip over to her hair and I'm going to be using E55 and E57 again. Those are the same colors I used to shade her dress. And I will just kind of give her hair an all over coloring with the E55. Then I'm going to take a little E49 which is a really dark color and I'm going to basically go over the lines of the stamp. I think curly hair is a little bit more difficult to color. Um, so I kind of worked in, on it a little bit. I'm drawing some little squiggles all over. The E55 was basically just a really nice base color. A lot of it is getting covered up. I used E59 as well. It's kind of my mid-tone color here. And then I'm going back in with E49 and adding some of those darker areas again. Like I said, I am covering up most of that base color. You don't want a whole lot of that to show through because it's a lot lighter, but it allows just enough to give a nice variation for the, or for the hair. I'm gonna glue that gold solid belt in place and also her shoes. I find it's usually a little easier to cut out the doll 
if it already has that additional layer of the uh, paper pieced clothing. Um, I almost always do it this way. It just tends to give it a little bit more stability and makes it a lot easier to cut out. Now for her gloves, I picked a very light tone on tone pattern from an Avery L neutral six by six paper pad. And I'm going to, I stamped the gloves and then I'm going to cut both of those out and place those there on the doll before I cut her out. Now, just like the rest of the clothing, these need a little bit of shading. I'm using some warm gray markers, using warm gray three to add my darker colors and then a little warm gray one to blend that out. It still gives the illusion that the gloves are kind of a cream color, um, but it just gives them that nice shading. I'm gonna go ahead and color in the kitten now. This is from the Mama Elephant Perfect Pear stamp set, and I apologize, I'm a little high in the screen there. Um, I'm using some YR24 and YR27 to make it a little orange tabby cat. And then I will add a little R20 for the insides of the ears and the nose before I go in with my darker color which is gonna be this E17, and I'm gonna make some little stripes there. Very subtle on the kitten. Blend out any of those areas I need to, darken up some of the areas with the E17. I like to do the critters on the text paper. I think it coordinates nicely with the dolls when the dolls are also on text paper. I'm gonna go over the eyes with a black gel pen, and I'll set that aside for just a second while I put my page together. This window is from the Silhouette online store and I just die cut the window frame from some wood grain paper and then the background a solid piece from the starry sky paper and layered those together on a Webster's Pages background and then I added a little flooring also with a wood grain paper from my mind's eye and did a little baseboard trim so that it looks like a floor and then a wall with the window. The phrase here says here and now I'm where I want to be is from a couple of different Carrie Bradford Studio stamp sets. I stamped them with gold delicata ink and soft navy ink and that kind of coordinates with the rest of the page. I'm going to stamp that kitten again in the window so that the whiskers will show up when I glue the cat in place. And then that little ball of yarn is from a Simon Says Stamp stamp set. You are possum. I like the size of the yarn ball from that stamp set and I think it's a nice coordinating design for this page with the little kitten. So I've stamped that right there on the page. I'm also going to use a couple of the paw prints from the Perfect Pear stamp set from Mama Elephant stamped with that Sikineko uh, Golden Glitz ink. Glue everything down in place. I have attached the girl, the cat now. And then for the ball of yarn, I've stamped that again on some navy my mind's eye paper. It kind of has a pattern, to, a little subtle pattern to it. And then I'll just place that, glue it right on top of the stamped yarn ball. That way it has a little bit of color and it keeps with the paper pieced theme of the design. I need to add my date. This is also with some Carrie Bradford Studio stamps, her time stamp set and time again stamp set. And I've stamped that with a really soft, my favorite things, natural ink. Thanks for watching this video showcasing my April 2015 paper doll page. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.